Hello, I'm Amiro Saint from Sunny2 and in this video we are going to quickly set our shop's information in PrestaShop 1.7. Now that you have a clean shop, you can start making it your own, setting everything as you like, starting with your shop's information. This is the list of the information we are going to customize in this video. Shop name, logo, address, email, default currency, social networks, reassurance, legal compliance, and static pages. First, shop name, email, and address. The shop name defines your brand and it is displayed in the emails and page titles. To access this option, go to Shop Parameters, Contact, and Stores tab. Then in the Contact Details, edit the Shop Name option if you need. This is what you have defined in the installation process. Shop Email is also displayed in Emails sent to customers on the Contact Us page and in the footer of the Classic theme. You can change it to anything you want. You can also enter your registration number, shop address, phone, and fax here. Click Save to submit changes. Next, the shop logo. It defines your brand visually. The default logo says My Store. Displayed at the top left of every page of your store as well as in your invoices and other automatic emails. To change it, go to Design, Theme and Logo. And in the logo section, change the various default images of your logo. The header logo will appear on your front office. Click Browse and select your logo, click Open, and then Save. The dimension of the logo depends on your theme and design. For the classic theme, the default theme of Presage of 1.7, 40 pixel height and 200 pixel width are recommended, and if possible, with a PNG format, I mean transparent. As you can see, as we change the header logo, mail logo and invoice logo also changed. If you don't upload a different logo for mail and invoice, the main logo will be used instead. So if you need a different logo for mail and invoice, you can upload them here and here. You can and must change the fav icon of your shop. Fav icon is the small icon that appear in the browser tab next to the title. You should create a transparent image with .ico format for the fav icon. You can also use the fav icon generator on PrestaShop Marketplace for free. Step 1. Upload your picture. Step 2. Generate fav icon. Step 3. Connect to download fav icon. You should log in to your account in PrestaShop add-ons to download this file. Now go back to your back office and click browse. Select the fav icon with the .ico format. Click open and then click save. If it's not changed, just press Ctrl F5 on your keyboard for the change to take effect. We will discover more options here in this menu later in other videos. This is supposed to be a short and quick guide for some basic settings of your shop because they are displayed in the front office. Next, the default currency. The default currency means the currency you want to set the default price for your products. You can access this setting in International, Localization, in the Configuration section, you can select your default currency. If your preferred currency is not available, you must import a localization pack for that country first. Use the Import a Localization Pack tool from here, just select the country you want, check the necessary boxes, and select Yes, then click Import. Now if you go back to the default currency section here, you will have more than one currency and you can select your default currency. Then click save to submit the changes. Next is your social networks and social sharing. Go to modules, module manager, and here type social and press enter. By default there are two modules, one of them for the social sharing buttons in product pages and another for your accounts on different platforms. To enter the address of your pages on different social medias, click configure for the social media follow links. And here enter your available pages and click save. Let me enter a link for example for every one of them and click save. Now let's go to the front office. In the classic theme, it is shown in the footer of almost every page. 
To enable visitors to share your products on social media, you can use social media share buttons module. If you see upgrade instead of configure for any module in PrestaShop, you can either upgrade that module and then configure it or just click this arrow and select configure. In this module, you can only enable or disable the share button of these three, Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest. For example, if I disable Twitter and click save, and go to the front office, go to a product page, you will see just Facebook and Pinterest. If I enable Twitter, click save, go back to the product page, refresh, you will see Twitter here too. The next option is reassurance block. If you have noticed on the product page, there is a block that allows you to display some reassurance details. This block can also be shown on the header, footer, and the checkout page. You should use it to give some detail about your return policy, your security policy, delivery policy, etc. so that visitors will feel it is safe to order from your shop. To manage this block, go to the modules, module manager, type reassurance, and press enter. Now click configure for the customer reassurance module. Here we have three tabs, content, display, and appearance. In the content tab, you can add, edit, or delete these contents. You can also deactivate and activate these contents. By clicking and dragging these contents, you can also reposition them in the block. By default, there are three contents here. Let's edit one of them. Click these three dots and click edit. Here we have image or icon, title, description, and redirection options. If you click modify icon here, you have three sets of icons you can select for your content. You also have the option to upload a file here with SVG, GIF, JPG, or PNG format instead of an icon. The title shouldn't be more than 100 characters and the description is optional. You can leave this empty. You also have an option to link this piece of content to a CMS page, aka a static page from this list or a direct URL then click save to submit changes. You will see that the position of these contents has changed and the delivery policy now has no description. In the display tab, you can set the position and the display status of the entire block. From the global setting, you can set the position of the block in the header and the footer on all pages, above the header, below the header, or none. Also, above the footer, below the footer, or none. Remember, these global settings are for all pages. There are two more options, product pages and checkout pages. You can only choose to show the block in the main column or none in these two pages. Now let's see how this looks like. I select above the header, below the footer, product main column and checkout main column. Let's refresh the page. We'll see this block in the main column of the product above the header of all pages and below the footer of all pages above the header and below the footer you can also go to the cart and see the reassurance block here in the checkout pages and lastly in the appearance tab we have the option to change the icon color here from the different colors and text color in the appearance tab, for the changes to take effect, you need to click save. The next information is legal compliance. Some countries require you to give specific information to your customers regarding your various policies. The official GDPR compliance and legal compliance modules are here to help. To access these modules, as usually they are not installed by default, go to modules, module catalog, here, type compliance, press enter. You may not see the legal compliance module in this list. It's because right now the legal compliance module is archived by PrestaShop, but you can still download it from the PrestaShop GitHub repository and install it on your shop. If you don't know how to download and install the PrestaShop module from GitHub, check out the deleting the demo data PrestaShop 1.7 video. These two modules are very simple to work with. You just need to read the instruction for each option. Let's install these two modules. 
and take a quick look. I press configure and configure. Here the legal compliance module, you will see the options here. There is a complete guide here in this link in PrestaShop documentation on how to set up this module. And also the official GDPR module for European countries has some very simple options you can work with easily. I may later explain all these options in a separate video. For example, you have personal data management. These are the modules that collect personal information from your customer. Here you can search your customer name and see the details of that customer, remove its data or download invoices. Or here we have constant checkbox customization, account creation form, customer account area, contact form, product comments, and newsletter subscriptions. As you can see, it's a very simple module to work with. And last but not least are static pages. Your shop needs some content like about us, delivery, legal notices, terms and conditions, and secure payments, etc. And to create these pages in PrestaShop 1.7, you need to go to Design and Pages. Here you see a list of pages. Some of them have default content which you should adapt to your business. Some others are empty and you should paste your own text. From here, you can add, edit, or delete a page. You can also create page categories here. Please be aware that this page category is not related to product categories in any way. Do not mix them up. Let's edit one of these pages. Click here. Here you can select the page category, type the title, meta title, meta description, and meta keywords. Also the friendly URL. Remember not to use the space in the friendly URL. Only letters and the hyphen character are allowed. You also have the SEO preview of this page in search engine results. And in the page content field, you can enter your own content. You can type any text, insert image, video, or any HTML code here. If you want this page to be indexed by search engine, click yes. The displayed option is for enabling and disabling this page in the front office. Click Save and Preview to see the changes in your front office. If you see this pop-up blocked, you can click here and always allow pop-ups and redirects from your domain. Click Done. Again, click Save and Preview. This is how it's shown in your front office. So this way you can edit and adapt all the static pages to your business. If you need a new page, just click Add New Page here. And if you need a new page category for your static pages, click Add New Page Category here. Fill out these fields and click Save. That's it. This is how you can modify your shop's main information. If you have any question related to this video, just leave a comment.